Hello, this is P6U, and as I said, we're gonna go in a straight line for a while now, so you can guess what it is. Well, you see it by the title anyway, so of course, your demo, 39. This was one of the earliest demos I ever played when I was young, uh, and I know most of the games. I've forgotten some of them because I haven't played this demo for a whole lot of time, but I know two games at least that are featured on it. Oh, it's, got, it's got this tile screen, but it's got this. This is the best PlayStation demo music, as far as I'm concerned. It's on your demo 45 uh, and on the winter releases 98 demo. As far as I know, those are the only two. There might be some other your demos that I'm currently haven't played yet, but we'll see that later, won't we? So let's see here. Bust the Groove, the first one. Colony Wars Vengeance. Yeah, and Future Cup LAPD, oh hell yeah, that's gonna be so sweet to play. Sentinel Returns, Spyro the Dragon, it's gonna be a treat to play also if it's playable. We're gonna be pretty decent, I think. Tomb Raider 3, or Tomb Free Raider, it kinda looks like that, I don't know. Victory Boxing 2, Wrecking Crew, F198, a video. And Mahjong on Nyatjoros, oh crap, that's not gonna be fun. And Nyatjoros video. Alondra video also, wow. I don't think they ever included a playable version of Alondra. Uh, I never played it either, I've only heard that it like, sells up for the PlayStation, that's kind of what they, you know, labeled it, labeled it as during the heyday, you know. Uh, but Buster Google was the first one, so... Of course, we're playing in them in order. Gonna be one exception, I'm gonna do the Euros game for last. But you should know that by now. You usually do that. <clears throat> Alright, so the computer and team at Euro. Enix? Wow, cool. Metro. Alright. Um, yeah. Avex tracks. Oh no, I know what this is. I think this is like a rhythm game. We'll see. Bust a groove. Isn't it like a bust a move also? Or is that something else? I don't know. Push start. Sure. Like one player is the only thing I can choose. So why even bother with the select screen at all? I know. I was complaining about that. Heat. Uh, who's the coolest? Gaso, holy. Or Kitty N, but the Heat is the only playable character, of course. Again, when by with the blah 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 What? What am I supposed to do? Wait. Dude, I don't get it. No, what the fuck is this? Dude, I don't get it at all. I don't get it. Um. I don't get it. What the? F when am I supposed to push the buttons? I don't get it at all. Uh. 
the fuck? When am I supposed to push the buttons? I don't get it at all. Th this isn't fun at all. What the hell am I? I don't get it. Am I stupid or something here? I really don't get it. That's probably embarrassing. Um, if somebody who knows to play the game watches this. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Can't win them all. I'm just gonna. No, so I don't. <clears throat> when am I supposed to push circle here? When it's glowing? That's like for a fraction of a second, right? I mean, you lose. Well, thankful. Yeah. Wait, that was over. I don't know. I had to clear out my throat a little then. <coughs> Alright, that was um, boring. Let's see. No, that's the wrong way. Let's see here. Colony Wars Vengeance. This might take a while. If I know my Colony Wars correct, which I hope I do. But we'll see. The Colony Wars Vengeance isn't the first one, right? The first one is just called Colony Wars, right? I know there's a third game, but I don't remember what it's called. Signosis. Oh, yeah. Curse. Colony Wars Vengeance, Colony Wars... Isn't it something... Red? I don't know. I don't remember. It's all this round. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Okay, Color Wars were over, the mighty navy was finished, the League of Free Worlds has sealed the war pole, consigning the navy to a desolate world devoid of resource. Oh crap, I didn't. Okay. <sighs> Climb? Um... Fire gun, cycle gun, arm, secondary. What? Ah, uh, that was too fast. Damn it. November 98. Huh. Alright. Yeah, this demo came out in 98. Long on demo. Long on, I guess. Mission 1, sure. Start brief. <clears throat> oh crap, I don't want to read that much. Let's just see how this goes then. If it is a success or if it's a great failure. Uh, oh no. Offplane going to communication. Navy operations, communications online mission. Make sure so we don't call on board reaches its destination safely. Clear to take offensive action against any hostile craft. Is that a hostile craft? Better it is. Maybe it is. <clears throat> Aren't I supposed to target Navy forces? Maybe he's not a bad guy after all. Probably not because it says that. Um, oh, maybe I'm supposed to attack this. Plasma missile, anti shield missile. Am I supposed to attack this thing or am I not? I don't get it. I was like supposed to protect this convoy or something, and I guess this was like the convoy. I don't know. Damn. All right. <coughs> well, 
wasn't too hard if you knew that you had to do that. Should I attack this thing also, or should I just wait? Maybe I am. I don't know. Opening jump gate, right? Yeah, I know, but I thought the navy were the bad guys. I don't get it. Scans indicate tribal craft approaching, right? Where? Where, 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 where? Damn, is that it? What the hell? Up there. Um, is that it? That's something else. That must be a threat. Don't bring jump kit, don't jump kit. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. Uh, I'm supposed to destroy this thing or not? What the hell happened to my missiles? I ran out or something? Is this taking damage even? I don't get it. Uh, Okay, shields down. Perfect. Maybe I can change this one to I don't know if this is more powerful or... Yeah. Here. Right. Uh, where to now? Right there. Or destroy that thing. Um... Uh, right. Now what? That's how you look behind you, I see. L2 plus R2. Is more stuff going on here? Yeah, this thing. Wow, this isn't too fun, is it? This is pretty lame. Thank god there's like fun demos down here. Or down here of this demo. You know, uh, Future Cup, LAPD, Sparta Dragon, Tomb Raider 3 to a certain extent. Um, if you're into that kind of game, I'm not really a big fan, but still. It's a decent game, at least. But Future Cup is sure to be the highlight of this one, I think. just ends. Well, I guess I succeeded at least. That's good. I don't know how long it took, but still. It's all fun and games, I guess. Let's see here. Oh no, that's the wrong way. Oh yeah, Future Cop. LAPD. Hell yeah, I haven't played this in a whole long... I, I mean, it's very long since I played it. I haven't even started up the full game yet. I've not tried it out. Um, mainly because I'm 
basic way of doing other stuff. <laughs> you know? Um, this is like on Sundays. That's the only like demo videos going up Sundays. Yeah, like the EA. And you know, um, um, Modern Warfare and Alice share Monday to Saturday, and then Sundays is. Um, demo videos. See, here's that kick ass music. Single player Prime War. I think you can play this, because the only thing that's just not available in the demo is the load game. But this seems to work also. You can play two player on this. I'm gonna go for single player uh, Prime. Name player one. Starts off with the P, that's good. Take some time. Pretty unnecessary to do it even, but still. Oh crap, that was wrong. How do I make these clear then? Oh crap. Well, this is unnecessary, isn't it? Still, no point in like screwing up now. I'm gotten this far. There we go. No. Except name X. Sure. Scale normal. Yeah, ready. Select zone. I think the red one is the only. Yeah. Of course, that's the only one that's playable. Huh. There. Griffith Park. Right. Powered minigun. Can I change it? Flamethrower, electric gun, uh, gateway laser, not available. Powered minigun seems alright. Hellfire 2000, concussion beam. Uh, sure. I don't remember which weapons do what, but we'll go for that. That's the default select option, so sure. I guess that works. Right, the Take him out. Crowd control situation. Yeah. Pretty violent cop, aren't you? Just keep murdering everybody in sight. The only thing that sucks is there you see there's a demo uh, there's a time limit. Uh, triangle is jump. Kinda of, look kinda of look looks like uh, the geckos from Metal Gear Solid 4, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright. This game might not look that good, but it really is. It's fucking awesome. Too bad, it's kind of rare to find this um, on sale. I mean, I had to look for a whole, a really long time before I could find a copy on sale. And I'm really glad I finally own it. But I haven't started it out yet. Might do a blind LP of this one if you really want to see it. I don't mind doing that, but it's gonna might be a while until that. Uh, die LA. How do you transform to oh you straight with those buttons? Let's see. I guess both at the same time. Could be this fast hover thingy. Instead of forcing around on foot. That's L1 and R1 at the same time. Seems like I'm kicking ass wherever I go. What the hell? Alright. Destroy this wall or does it. Yeah. Just one guy in there. <laughs> Alright. Fuck that demo time, that sucks ass. Why do they include that? That's lame. Should I like let you play through the entire mission? I think you can beat it. It isn't that long, if I remember correctly. Uh, I might not do that, but 
Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Watch it. They've got air support. Oh, that doesn't sound good. See, the, the rockets are like homing, so it doesn't really matter. Homing rockets. Are these mines? I don't think I can. I don't know. See the rockets are like the only thing you need. They have an ammo meter down there. As you see, I have a third left. That's a shield police reloader. But reload. See that generator? Gotta get past it. This generator, this thing over here. Oh yeah, this one. This one. I think it's going down. So, yeah. Wow, I can beat the level? I haven't missed anything? What's this? I don't know. There's still some bad guys over here, I think. But I guess I can move out. Oh no, that's not the end of the level. It just goes to another stage of the level, I see. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat. Oh crap. Fucking... Oh, I see the ammo is out for your rockets, that would be too good. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat the level, but... Showed... What the game is all about, and that's really all that matters. Of course I This game is so good. Yeah. Right, but I'm not gonna make that. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, and it ends like this. Loading in progress. I think, go yeah, it goes back to... You can, s you can play it multiple times, but... End game. And you can do a pre-sync assault, I think. This is Precinct Assault. Yeah, Precinct. You begin inside your base. You know where the action button is, right? You'll need it. Each base has a hover tank generator. Action button. Hover tanks will seek out the enemy base. When one of your hover tanks enters the enemy base, you win. Sounds simple? I don't think so! You can generate jet choppers to protect your base from the air. These base turrets are your last line of defense. Any neutral turrets are up for grabs. Use the action button to claim them. This is an outpost. Claim it, and you've got another base. But outposts cost points. Earn points by claiming turrets and destroying enemy units. Destroy the enemy walker, earn points, and send him back to his base crying like a baby. Remember, hover tanks, turrets, points, crying. Beautiful. Now, if you're playing by yourself, you'll go up against Sky Captain, a lethal combination of smarts and firepower. This cybernetic genius can do everything you can do, and more. He's got his own reloaders, and can link with his base to generate units remotely. And every time you beat Sky Captain, he gets a little tougher. Oh, about the radar. The red arrow points to the red base, the blue one towards the blue base. Whoopee. So, get one of your hover tanks into the enemy base before the other guy gets to yours. Good luck. Alright. Um, sounds cool. Let's try this then. Yeah. Training level. Let's go to training level, sure thing. Select level play. One. I will go for that again. Ah, uh, this is like doesn't really need to be shown, but still, it's such a good game, so I really want to show it. What tickets? Yeah. All right, I see. Oh, mine. Let's see. Let's do this. Again. 
if I can beat this bastard. This is the best you can do. Get up there. Why isn't this elevator working? What? The what? Oh, I see. You gotta press L1. I see. But that's the action button. All right. See, you haven't got a whole lot of time either on this. Kind of lame. But you can play two-player in the demo. That's pretty cool. What? I think he's gonna win. I might do that. What? You can't jump down <laughs> from heights? What? I don't care. Uh huh. Let's see. Where's the faster? How did he get these turrets working and destroy them? How do you... How did he get those turrets working? I don't get it. Again? I want to get these turrets working also, but I can't. I didn't get it. Yeah, 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 that's not good. Whatever. Well, the blue one is too, right? Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. Again. Well, now I can claim that turret, alright. Crap, you can't jump off, that sucks. That's really lame. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Might as well spam spam it, all these. I don't think one of them is gonna get through because, well, the time might run out and they're pretty slow. But, we'll see. I haven't seen his tank, or his, uh, you know, walker anywhere. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's just forcing around somewhere. I have no idea. Get up. Get up, get up, get on your feet. Where are you? I don't know where the hell are you? That's a better question. Ah. Now we can jump down. Right. Well, the demo timer is running out again. Alright, so it went. But neither did he. That's good. End game. Select and it ends. Perfect. So that was Future Cop LAPD. Um, it's better than the demo, definitely. I really liked the demo when I was younger, but I have played a full game over at a friend's house and that was kick ass as hell. So let's see. Going the wrong way again. Sentinel Returns. We'll see what that is. I don't remember even hearing the name, in fact. But uh, we'll see. Soon enough. Well, Psychosis again. Well, of course. I was almost certain that it would be <laughs> before I started it.
What the? No name games? Alright. Never heard of. <clears throat> Let's see what this is all about then. Hookstone. Alright. Wow, fancy. Why is all everything like sepia colored? Sentinel Returns, No Name Limited, we're published on Exclusive Lights for No Name Games Limited. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. English, of course. Loading Sentinel, alright. Well, of course it's loading Sentinel, what the hell would it be loading else, you know? Would it be some other game, you know? On the disc instead. That doesn't make sense, but whatever, whatever. Uh, unique game genre. Nothing compares to its sequel to the original '80s classic, *The Sentinel* by Jeff Kramen. John Carpenter. Wow, cool. Six hundred fifty progressive playable levels. Unique and stunning in-game visuals, theme, play environments, earth, air, fire, water, and the void. Secret and re secret and reward. Uh, given half a chance to destroy you, I don't know. So much It's not sight. Uh, I'm reading, but I don't want to read everything out loud because it's so much text. Oh damn! Uh, crap. This looks annoying. Hyperspace Rocket 180 pause return to demo select screen up scan up what create tree create boulder oh damn this looks oh this looks complicated oh crap you can use a mouse for this but you had to plug in the mouse and control for two and still use L1 or R2, R1, R2, and X square, triangle, and circle. What? Start button equal play. Okay. It's got a load at a crap. This is like the third time it's doing this. Oh, lame. That startup screen there, when I press start uh, for a few seconds ago, I kind of remember that vaguely. I I know I've seen that before, but it must it must have been like in the nineties, because I don't remember ever playing this game ever again since like the first time I started up, and I was I was like eight years old when I did that. Eight? No, I was like seven. I must have been seven when I did that. Crap! <laughs> Time goes by so fast. Uh. Right. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Um, right. What the hell is that thing? What is that? Um, right. Where am I supposed to go then? Over there? Um, uh, I tell you what, I don't get it. Um, do I, what, what is that?
I mean, what the hell is going on here? I'm just starting here again. Alright, what's that? And what is that? Uh, um, what was that thing? Am I going somewhere even? Everything just looks the same. What the hell is this? I don't know if I'm progressing at all here. I think I'm not because I this. Um. Then I'll still. What the hell is this all about? I really don't get it. Says something about creating trees or stuff. I don't know. Did that somehow? Uh, um. Wait. You place those thing. Let's see. You take them back with L1. Uh, you move with R2. What? How I even gotten somewhere? Or I'm just in the same location forever because I really don't make anything out. Everything just looks the same here. The alien is up there, like right, or the sentinel, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I mean, where did he go now? Ah, uh, start. I uh, <laughs> lame. Maybe I'm the one who's like can't think straight, but still, this is. Um, not my type of game at all. Um, mainly because everything just looks the same, so there's no. I mean, and it goes black when you uh, move, so you can't really see where you're going. I mean, can I go up here? Would I would assume that the alien can't see me because I can't see him, but apparently that's not the case at all. I, it doesn't seem like it at least. Uh, so yeah, I don't get it. I press select. I mean, I would have spent like five hours trying to figure that out. Thank God it was not on the time limit. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, not my type of game. Let's just say that. So, Spider Dragon. Oh yeah. This one I know. Well, you probably knew that already. I said it an LP of the game, so yeah. Check that out if you haven't. Pretty good. Good game, not my LP. It's not that good. I don't... Oh no, it's this demo. I think I've played this demo before. <clears throat> this must have been the winter releases version demo. Thank you for releasing me. Free the dragons in the artisan world, then seek out the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? That's all I can tell you. Yeah, it's the same. And it has the main menu music for the song during play during this level. That doesn't really happen in the full game. No, does it? I don't know exactly how much I'm going to show this demo because this is like the third separate time I'm playing it. It was really pointless to do a Let's Play of the Spyro demo in the miscellaneous PlayStation videos. Uh, because I'm <laughs> it's featured on so many demo discs. Uh, this is the second one, but still, it was kind of pointless to do. So see me play Spyro so many times, this is the fourth time I'm playing through the homeworld uh, in a video, you know, including the LP, but still, um, 
you know. Um, <coughs> I seem to have some kind of link between, you know, Curse to play Spyro demos forever. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, the thing about the miscellaneous PlayStation videos demo playlist, uh, the Spyro videos that in that's are in this. That are featured in that playlist. Uh, the Spyro 1 demo, at least, is a different version than this one. Uh, you know, the Crash Bandicoot... Uh, the demo that is featured on the Crash Warp Disc. It's demo version of Spyro. Um, is different from this one. It does not feature Stonehill, nor does it feature Dark Hollow. Instead, it features Sunny Flight, located over there by the waterfall. The passage is open. And over here in Stone Hills Portal, they've uh, put Town Square. And th in the demo, it does Stark Hollow and uh, Stone Hill. Yeah, that's about it. And I think they changed the music. Um, or they supposed to be. No, I don't know if they're silver colored in the full game, I don't remember that. Might be. But I don't remember if the music played during the Crash 3 version of this demo is the original music or this music that's featured there that's taken from the main main menu. Press the jump button twice. <coughs> Crap, I can't really talk today. I think you've noticed that. It sounds horrible Pulling stuttering and um mm, yeah, mm, um, you know that kind of stuff. That sucks ass. Through, Hate that. that. Well you can't really do anything about it, I guess. Sometimes that just happens. They're kind of early in the morning right now also, that might be it. But I'm so eager to record when I wake up, you know, I want to do that first thing. And then I'm all like fucked up in the throat or the nose or whatever. Um, you know, so I need to I need to have a drink, but my drink, my, the drink I was drinking ran out, so yeah. Can't really do anything about it. I can drink some milk if I want to, but... I don't know, that's probably gonna wake it worse in the throat or whatever. You know, slime it up even more. That's not good, is it? So I'm not... I don't know. Should I do the entire demo? I've done it so many times. Might do... That. As I said, I want the videos to be able to stand on their own. Can't stress that enough. I said it a couple of times already. Um... I miss some treasure. Treasure. Let's look for treasure. Let's see. Let's look for treasure. That's right. We're all looking for treasure. I didn't notice that. Um, it's not over here. So where is it? No, I think not. So let's rush. Oh, damn! What the hell happened there? Not up there. We opened that one. Out of the way. Where is it then? Where is it? Where is it? West. West. I might have missed something in here, or maybe. Uh, I don't know, let's see. Nope. Apparently not. Not up there either. Maybe it was in here somewhere, down here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright then. I mean, this was so good when it came out. This was like the... When there was no other Spyro Dumps games available, you know, that one was. You only had the first one. This was so classic. It was so great to follow that series. Same goes for Metal Gear Solid. I said that's in the best games ever. You know, when you played Metal Gear Solid for the first time, that was the first Metal Gear Solid that ever, ever came out. So it was kind of nice to follow the series as it progressed. You know, not like today where you have like. 5 million uh, Spyro games or whatever, and like tons of Metal Gear games also. <clears throat> but I'm, ne I, you know, I'm never gonna play any other Spyro games other than the ones Insomniac made. I can't do that. That's blasphemy. Same goes for Crash. And that's at least as far as I'm concerned. I don't really want to play those other games that were developed by Naughty Dog or Insomniac. And you see there's text instead of animation for the dragons this early. Um, 
But they weren't too far for finishing the game. Uh, this demo might have been released... You know, way earlier than... Uh, the disc came out first. So they were like handling this demo from Insomniac way more... Way earlier than the demo was actually released. That might be it at least, I don't know. Well, I don't know how long it took to develop this either. <clears throat> it can't be too difficult to, you know, include that animations from the dragons. Maybe their voices wasn't recorded yet or whatever. It can't have just a silent dragon with text around it. So maybe not all the voices were done yet. But yeah, as you see, we're now in Dark Hole and we're kicking some Nork ass. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, trying a button to zoom in and look around. That's right. I really want to play some other Spire game. I've done the Spire 2 demo that is featured on the Crash Team Racing disc. But it would be cool to do some more levels on Spire 2. So I've been thinking uh, for my next LP. Yeah. Maybe. Should I? I'm going to do it eventually anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's a PS1 game. So... <coughs> And I think I'm really eager to play it. It's been a while. So it would be kind of cool to do it. And it doesn't uh, take too long, at least, I think. Me and my Spyro 1 vid play, you know, LP was like, how long was it? 17 parts? Crap, you can't skip this whole lane. So that's not really long, is it? I mean, Crash Bandicoot 2 was only 16 parts. I mean, the total playthrough was like 4 hours or something. I mean, you can beat it. Or 5 or it was, maybe it was... I don't know. You can beat it way faster though. But as I said, I'm, it's, I said at previous sometime also that I don't really want to you know, rush through the game to do a like, speedrun or something. Because when I'm doing an LP, I'm not doing a speedrun. So I'm not gonna try to rush through it. I'm just gonna play it casually as hell, you know, commenting on the scenery or whatever, stuff like that, you know. But I think my Alice LP is like 23 parts right now. Um, <clears throat> Modern Warfare is up to part 7. And I don't think. Maybe it'll be like 10 more parts of Modern Warfare. And I doubt I can get Alice done in 10 more parts. Uh, I, yeah, I probably can, but then the video is going to be way too long. And that will suck ass. See, one coin, or one gem is stuck up in here, so we can get it on the way out, yeah. Yeah, but Modern Warfare might be... Oh, what the hell happened there? Doesn't sound right. Yeah, but Modern Warfare may be shorter... Or maybe done before Alice Madden's Returns is done. That's probably the case. And when I'm done with Modern Warfare 2 and Alice isn't done yet, I'm gonna be doing Alice throughout the week, you know, Monday until Saturday, and then a demo on Sunday until I'm done with that. Then I will start my next LP. Uh, might do the same, same way, actually, because... You know, if going up with two simultaneously, or one share, just sharing the week with three videos per LP per week. I don't know. Because Spire, yeah, as I said, that game, <laughs> you could have figured out by now, you should have done that. You should have figured out once I said it, because I flat out explained, this is the game I'm going to do next. So yeah, I might be do that one with another one. So, but that one is, is bound to take, it's gonna take longer. I don't know how long the Spire 2... Yeah, I said it there, Spire 2, yeah. But I don't know how long that will be um, compared to the other one. That one might take way longer. So it might be the same case with their, sh their sharing uploading schedules during the week yet, you know, during the weeks, but once I'm done with Spyro 2, the other one might take over completely in a week until I'm done with that as well. 
After that, um, I've been thinking about doing a blind one. Of a game, which I've never played. So oh, we'll see about that. When I'm done with everything, we'll, I'll let you know for sure. As you see, the red gem got stuck in here as well for some reason. Kind of like a bug, I guess. Uh, down on the beach. Yeah, you see, I'm playing through the entire Spyro demo again. Not too bad. I guess. You know, it's such a good game, so... Oh crap, I missed a red one down there. That's not good. Well, I'm going for 100%, as you see. That's unnecessary, isn't it? It's a bit excessive, don't you think? Well, sure. Whatever. I don't care. This is my video. I'm not forcing you to watch it or anything, but... If you want to deal with this crap, then fine. Be my guest. I don't mind at all. And as I said countless times, also, there's going to be... A lot of demos all throughout 2013. Uh, not just your demos, more miscellaneous PlayStation demos as well. They're all just PlayStation awesomeness in general. No, I'm, uh, I really like to play through the demo discs and collect demo discs in general. Of course, I'm going for uh, my main thing is to like to pal your demo discs. Um, those other ones are the most classic. I, f I think I have all of them that I had when I was younger. <clears throat> Might be well, like one or two that I'm missing right now. But I I know one that I'm missing. Definitely missing. No, I want, no two that I'm definitely missing. I don't want to reveal what demos they are. Um, I know what games are featured on both of them. To a certain extent, that is. But I don't want to reveal what demos they are because uh, I, it doesn't really matter if I say so or not. not. Not really a reason for it, but I don't want to. Uh, but I really want to get those demos ASAP so I can uh, complete them because they are... As I said, I have up until 71 in a streak, but there are like two demos from... From this, like, um, from that period that are like gaps, so I really need to get those two demos so I can really call it a streak from what is it that I have uh, 23 up until 71, and I have some other you know earlier than 23 as well, but 23 is where it starts and it ends at 71. That's a nice streak. I won't really need to get more though. Need to get more of those high number demos. Uh, the thing about those demos is that they're really not that impressive. They're mainly compilation demos of. Well, this is also a compilation, but those are does not feed. They do not feature new games in the same manner that these old ones do or did. You know these these demos all featured like new games that were had been released yet or something like that, but. Those high number demo discs mainly features games that had already been released, but bunched together. There's like demos with. I know there's a demo called the best horror games ever. I think it's got it's got Silent Hill, it's got Resident Evil. I don't know which Resident Evil it has, but it has one of them. Uh, it also has Quake 2 and Doom on the same demo, and there's a whole lot of other games as well. Uh, but you see how far that ranges from Doom up until Silent Hill on the same demo. I know Soul Reaver is also featured in that one. That's pretty cool. But you, you see, that what happens when you get to the high number demo discs. It starts to become more and more demos that you already have featured on other discs. But instead to, you know, pick them up one for one, they like picked one off and scramble them together with another bunch and some of those demos are really bad they feature really crap games um, you know most of these demo discs the earlier one feature at least one good game the only exception I can think of right now of my mind like that is your demo 46 that sucked you know major ass it was really lame but you saw this has 
Future Cop LAPD, Spider Dragon and Tomb Raider 3 all in the same demo. Uh, not that I'm too big a fan of Tomb Raider as I said, but still, it's not a bad game. Uh, 199 we can exit because this last one is over here. But yeah, those newer demos are pretty um, lame, in my opinion. <clears throat> you know, after there was a very really decline in demo quality after 2000, after 2000 in general. Uh, all through 99, 98, and 97, those were like to a certain extent also 2000. Those were like the best demos. At least the PS1 Euro demo discs, those were the best demos during 97, 98, 99, and 2000. So that four year span, and I have, you know, most, I don't think, as I said, there's like two demos I'm missing from that time period, then I have like all of them. Um, might be some exceptions during 97, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter, I can get those at some point or another, I will get them. But yeah, that was a Spyro demo. Take a journey with Spyro Dragon, the biggest little hero on the PlayStation in 98. Yeah, and that was Crash 3 release also, so yeah. I wonder, is there a, isn't there like Crash demo on the Spyro disc? As... Well, that's the wrong way again. Two way to free. Well, as there is a Spyro demo on the Crash 3 disc, wouldn't it be cool if there was a Crash demo on the Spyro disc? But if it, I've, I've made, I need to check that out if it is. Or if you know that off your mind right now, that, please tell me. I don't know idea. <clears throat> um, but if there was, there were probably going to be one playable level, and that level would probably be G Wiz. As it, uh, yeah, I see Tomb Raider Three. It's this same demo again. Uh, let's see. How did you run? No, not like that. Get. Not like that. L2, alright. Alright, alright. Okay, now we need... To, oh crap, the controls are so stiff. Get up there. No. What? What the... No, leave me alone, pervert! Just... Dash... Rainbow dash, as always. Oh crap, not in here. No! No! What you do is run in here, in the armory. No, not like that. How did you turn around quick? Oh yeah, circle. No. 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 Wait. No. Grab the pistols. You stupid... What the? Why are you doing? Grab the pistols. They're they're right here. What the? F what the hell are you doing? No. Can't you? What the hell is going on here? I didn't have much this much trouble in. What the hell? Uh, um... Didn't you pick him up with X? Wait. Not like that. What the? Can't... No! I know you. You're supposed to pick him up. You're not supposed to press L2 or R2 to pick him up. No! What? Really, what's going on here? I can't... Right, let's try this. Triangle? No. X? No. I'm holding X right now, it doesn't have anything happen. Circle is just that move. Square is jump. L2... Uh, I got stuck in a wall, apparently. Uh, no. Alright. Um, R1? No, that's strafe. L2, you crouch down, it looks like she can pick him up, but no, she doesn't. Circle is that move again, yeah, I, I said. L1 is camera. 
L2 is to sprint button, R2 is crouch down. Uh, it, what the hell is going on here? Why can't I pick up the pistols? You're supposed to do that. Is this demo broken or something? What? What? I can't do anything unless I got the pistols. And they're like, right here. Call, like, look, why isn't she picking them up? You really shouldn't, you know, f be forced to pick them up by yourself. She just, just, she should just walk all over them and, you know, pick them up by herself. Why is that so hard? See, I'm right in front of them. She does not pick them up. I mean, what the hell is this? I this this demo has to be broken or something. You're not supposed to be forced to crouch down, right? Square, X, circle, triangle, L1, L2, R1. Doesn't work. Does not work. How great is that? Well, screw this then. No. How do I end it? How do I end it? Screen it, just sound. Well, here, maybe it's, you know, quit game or something here. Exit demo, yeah. Wow. What was that all about? Um, well, that saved me some time, but still. I know I picked up the guns in the previous time I played this demo. Screw that. I'm going the wrong way again. What was this? Victor Boxing 2. Sure, that sounds simple enough. Probably gonna get my ass handed to me, but whatever. I don't really care. What the hell? I've been playing this for one hour? Shit. Nice pixelation there, isn't it? I don't know if it did, you know, show that good on the recording, but it sure showed on the TV. Might have to do something with the size of the TV and, you know, stretching it out here. Yeah, yeah, champion of the world, I get it. Champion of the world. Yeah, I got it by now. Can't stop saying that. Press Victor Interactive Software, alright. Never heard of. Footwork, yes. Sway, special punch, guard. Guard, punch face. Uh, taunt will select. Do you really taunt that like exiting the demo, probably? We'll see. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Ladies and wow, there was not a lot of audience attending, was it? In the red corner, Lennox Hedges. Crap! I remember this. In the blue Damn. corner. Crap, I remember. Final round! Oh crap, now it all came back to me. From like. You have no chance! Who am I? Keep your rhythm! Oh, I'm the blue one, alright, I see. You have no 
Sanchez. Push what? X square, whatever. Seems like I can push that one once. All right. Damn. Crap, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Was that it? Ladies and gentlemen, the decision is Lennox Hedges. Well, of course, he knocked me down once. The red corner. Wow, beautiful you graphics. Lose. <clears throat> yeah, I know. You don't have to like write it in my face or anything. Well, that was boring. My opinion. Boxing games, fighting games, whatever. I don't I suck at them and I don't like them. They might have to do something. They might have to, you know, be can be related to each other, probably. <laughs> Did it freeze now? Well, no, please don't. I mean, I gotten so far without resetting it, but shh, crap. Well, you know it seems to be almost one reset per demo video at least. Nothing I can do about it really. But whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Well, I do care because I don't want to do it. It takes time and it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, preview levels, blue, 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 blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Right? Yeah, I, I was thinking about something. Um, in the demo collection video I did, part two, uh, which I did like a big, about a week ago or something, I said I was gonna do a room tour video, and it's going up like in a week from now. It might be delayed a little, depending on uh, some stuff. Wrecking Crew. No, reset this one. Crap. Uh, it might be a little bit delayed depending on whatever the stuff I'm expecting to arrive. Hoping it arrive next week so I can do it on uh, that Saturday or that Sunday. We'll see. But if that stuff that hasn't arrived yet, then I'm going to have to postpone it to... I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully not too long. English. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. Namco. There. Arcade race. Ladybird or Ma? Dark Nitrous, Circus, Dark Nitrous. Clay, Rabbits, IQ. Kid Cranium, Kane and Abel. Should we go for Ladybird, I guess? Oh, of course, you can select all these, but you can't do anyone. Training on Sydney is the only thing available. Alright. Let's see how you do this then. Let's see. Sydney training, loading. Best lap, best time. CPU. Three, yeah, I know it was this game. Two, one, go! Why did it change to change to that in? No, not that. Oh no! This graphic style really makes it hard to to steer properly. At least as far as I'm concerned. 
uh, it does not help at all because it's so stiff and you can't really see exactly where you're going or anything. Alright. I mean, that last course. I see I have nitro tanks up there, I guess. Alright. Oh no. Can't this race just be over? This was lame as hell. I mean, the graphics aren't bad looking, but they really don't work for a racing game. Um, I mean. You really can't tell if you're oversteering or if you're understeering or whatever. It really is hard to, at least as far as I'm concerned, it's really hard to make that out. And that's not fun, is it? I can't. If you get used to it, it kind of works. But you know, just to rush in on that ahead like this when you're used to. Oh, they've already finished, I guess. Yeah, but as I said, if you're not used to it, it's kind of hard. Oh. Just wanna finish up here. Alright. I don't know what these stars do or anything. But thankfully, this was the last demo, and after this, it's just a bunch of, bunch of videos, and then my Mahjong on the Joros. I don't know the rules for my channel, I'm not gonna be able to play that. I'm just gonna horse it around until it's done with race over. Well, yeah, I know. Dead last. I don't care about the lap times. Game over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I didn't have to reset this one. Victor Boxen was the one you needed to reset. Damn liars, I think they messed it up. Alright, wreck, wreck, wreck. And, oh crap, we're going the wrong way all the time here. F198, video! I made it to get F198 because there's a demo disc featured along with it, at least on the German version. So I need to buy a German version of F198 just to get a special demo that you can't get anywhere else. Unless you're buying it like separate. But, I haven't, I don't think I've seen it for sale on a separate. You know, separate sales, signals, of course. Whatever. Again with this blurriness for the videos. I mean, it's kind of, it looks kind of washed out, I think. <laughs> Maybe it was F199 I needed. 97, I don't know. a huge fan of F1 games or anything, not in F1 in general, um, so I'm not gonna buy this game just to play some F1, I'm buying it mainly or only because of the demo. Still need to get like Black Ops 2, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, Dead Space 2 I want to have your kick's ass. Probably two years ago since it was released, that's fucking time flies. Dual commentary, cool. That, that space too is a kick-ass game. Ah, but I need that space free. That looks, it looks good. I don't know if look good as good as the second one. Uh, I haven't read that lot about it. I hope the co-op is enforced like in Resident Evil 5 because that was the only thing that's. It really sucked about Resident Evil 5 that it's forced co-op. You know, it's fine if it's available with co-op, but you really should be forced to deal with another computer player. 
Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I believe that's really not too fun. Is it? So that's what I'm hoping for that the co op won't be forced onto you, even if you're by yourself in Dead Space 3. That would be kick ass. And what do we have else? Bioshock Infinite, of course, and God of War Ascension. Also, in May we have The Last of Us. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome as well. I haven't really looked that up much either, uh, but I, you know, I did kind of like this weekend. It looks outstanding, and it's Naughty Dog as well, so that's cool. Okay, isn't Sony gonna make like a big announcement in March? By the way, I think. Would be will be pretty fucking cool to see what exactly they are showing. And this video took forever to watch. Damn, I didn't expect this to be this long. Hopefully, not all any of this audio has to be replaced from the demo. That would be lame as hell. I hate when I have to do. I hate when I have to do that. No. I know I have a PlayStation magazine, which is like a PlayStation guide uh, that features a guide for uh, Crash Warped, Spider Dragon, Tekken 3, some soccer game I think, and Formula 198. And some, I think there's a Call of Duty Wars guide in there also, and some other, I don't know exactly all the games, but the one I remember is like Tekken, Crash, and Spyro, and also the Formula 1. Because there was a car that had PlayStation advertising on it, and I always thought that was cool because, yeah, PlayStation, <laughs> of course. Yeah, so, does it. Why do I have to show that for the exit also? Didn't I show that in the beginning? Oh, pretty unnecessary, don't you think? How long is this video? Damn, I didn't think it would be that long. My John Net Yoros, Net Yoros video. One hour eighteen minutes. Damn. What took so long? I don't. Re I really don't know. Future Cop wasn't too long. I played that for like ten minutes with the demo time and then the menus and all that. Oh no! Crap. Spider Dragon may have took some time, but I think I rushed through it pretty fast. What else was there? Colin Wars, but that didn't take too long, did it? I guess I'll see when I put in, put in the time codes for this one. I don't know. Yeah, I want the Net Euros console. Those are so cool, but they're so expensive. I've seen them on sale on eBay, and they're not cheap at all. But it might even be worth it just to own one. As they are multi-format, you know, you can play all kinds of regions. PlayStation games on it. Wow. Oh, that's my job. Oh, crap. Last month was your demo 38. Yeah, but that was a long time ago I played that. It was like November, I think. Net Yours 229 pounds. Damn, that wasn't too much. I mean, I, some of the your But that was a new one. You get all the cut. Damn. Brand new Yours for 230. You know, pounds sterling, that's not a lot, is it? Maybe it was back in the day, I don't know how the currency held up back then. I don't know, I don't care. Net Euros, yeah, awesome. And then Alondra video is the next one, and then... Mahjong, Net Euros, I'm just gonna horse around in that for like two minutes or something, because I can't... Hope they not explain. I don't. Are they explaining the rules in that one? Maybe they are. And there's like tons of reading and stuff. And I'm just gonna skip that horse around for two minutes and my young, and then we'll end. Did the video cause the PlayStation to screw up? No. No. Oh, lame. Again. Just after watching a video, it has to be reset. So that's. Wow. Now that's something I tell you. Damn it. 
God damn it. This video might be long, like one and a half hour or something. I don't know why. I really don't. It's weird as hell. Alright, uh, rabber, 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 rabber. Whatever. Can't be, you know, undone now. It's the wrong way, crap. Alondra. Oh, yeah. Wonder why they never included a playable version of this. Wow, that's shaky. At least it is on the TV. I don't know if it's showing up on the recording. This hypnosis. They didn't develop this, but they published it. Damn, it's shaking as hell. I wonder if it's supposed to be doing that. I don't know. It's a pretty cool game, right? But I heard it that it's hard as shit. Um, that's annoying, isn't it? Why do you show like these anime style cutscenes? I don't get it. Do they even happen in the full game? Or is it like only for like an intro video or something? I don't know. Or a promo video like this, perhaps? I wonder why they never made like a proper sequel. I know there's Alondra 2, but after that. You know, should make a new one. Kind of like a Zelda game for the PS3, but with this character instead. Like the 3D sellers, of course, you know. Would be cool to kind of have something similar. No, pink pants, cool. Used to kick ass, by the way. Yeah, Alondra. All right. And then Majong, Net Joros. Mahjong! Crap. Well, I know you gotta reset the Joros, of course. Always have to do that. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Right, right, right. Okie dokie then. Um, let's see here. 1 minute 24. 1 hour 25 minutes. Let's see. Mahjong. Much uh, Gerald right in the hole for or something I don't saw. I don't read exactly what it said. Uh, push select for controls. Sure. Start new game. Change dragon. Press change tile settings. Uh, uh, 
Uh. Okay. What? What? Dude, I don't get anything on this. I'm not gonna try to. Alright. Dude, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't get it. Everything just makes farting noises. Um. This is great. Just perfect. This is the kind of game you want to play if you're a kid, right? Sure is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't you? It's my job. Um. Um. Well, why? What? What hell does this matter? Um. Okay then. Start select. Um. That was mahjong. I don't get it. Uh, it's a puzzle game. I don't ro know the rules or anything that wasn't clearly explained, so uh, I'm not gonna bother. It's not too fun to watch either, is it? Maybe one game like takes five, five hours to play or something, I have no idea. But whatever. Uh, that was your demo 39. It was a bit longer than I expected it to be. I didn't think it would be over one hour. But it turned out that it keep, you know, it turned out to be over one hour long. Oh no! So yeah, what you gonna do about it? I don't, you know, I don't care. But whatever, um, stay tuned for all things PlayStation. As I said, we're going in a straight line from here on for at least three more weeks. So you can you already know what the next demo is that I'm doing next week. Of course, you know. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for so you don't miss out any of the PlayStation demo action. All through 2013. One new demo per week. But yeah, all right. I haven't gotten anything more to say. Stay tuned for all things PlayStation. But for now, PSX2. Going offline.